Hey guys, it's Giridev for Funilicious. There won't be any second opinion if I say to you that the best mobile of the year would be the Samsung S7 Edge. Well, the S7 and the S7 Edge got even better. The Samsung S7 and S7 Edge just received the Android Nuga update. So I have the S7 Edge with me and I was more than excited to go on and apply the update. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you all the new things that Nuga brings to the S7 and the S7 Edge. The TouchWiz UI on the S7 and S7 Edge got the Nuga update and right now with, along with the Grace UX it brings in a lot of features. First let's start with device maintenance. Under settings there is a new device maintenance mode. This mode scans the device and fixes any anomalies that affect the device's performance. S7 Edge also gets an additional edge panel with the device maintenance. Under device maintenance, the battery settings get a complete overhaul. Apart from just monitoring usage and monitoring power usage of applications, the battery gets two power saving modes that can customize the screen brightness, screen resolution, CPU speed, network usage and always on display. Speaking about display, the display settings on the S7 and S7 Edge has got blue light filter to protect your eyes while reading at night. Also, the display resolution can be just like in a PC. You can now choose between HD, Full HD or QHD modes to optimize the mobile for better battery usage. Always on display can now show notification from third party application. The font size and the size of the UI on the screen can be controlled. Along with these features, Video Enhancer can be enabled to give you a better audio visual experience while watching video. The settings menu has got a complete overhaul. Settings looks visually appealing with clean icon and crisp desk. Also, the settings now has been grouped sensibly, making it easy to find any item in the menu. Also, while in specific settings sections, the mobile gives you recommendation on where to find similar settings. Well, native application like the calendar and dialer have been visually enhanced. The calendar application, the dialer application changes colors as per the contacts image color. Also, the icon and interface looks much more cleaner and sleeker. App folder gives you app suggestions from Samsung stores. The color of folders can also be changed. The calendar apps look cool with a new design. The application notifications are also grouped. Messages can be directly replied from the notification tray. Quick toggles look clean and minimalist. The button layout can be modified. There are a few little features like the flashlight intensity can be controlled from the quick toggle for touch. Quick toggles for certain third party applications can also be added. The icons on the home screen and app drawer look sharper and better designed. The squircle shaped icons are looking good. Long pressing on an app icon gives you options to disable the app, put it to sleep or even clear the batch counters. The app drawer is still confusing and I wish organizing order got better but nothing has changed with the touch viewers or the Grace UX on the S7 or S7 Edge. S7 and S7 Edge camera app got better UI enhancement with the Noga update. The camera app looks light and responds faster. It has just a controls. Swi swiping from the left brings in different modes. Right swipe shows color filters and swipe from top toggles the front and back camera. The new Samsung Pass application can store your passwords and help you access services, website and applications with biometric authentication. With the Nuga update, the S7 and S7 Edge users get 15 GB of cloud storage. More space can be purchased but the pricing for India has not yet been announced. I have been using the S7 Edge for over 4 months now. The older TouchWiz UI was good and now the Grace UX on Nuga has rectified many usability issues on the S7 and S7 Edge. The mobile gives you fine grain control over every setting and a lot of automation features. The Grace UX looks graceful and works sensibly. I wish Samsung changes the application drawer organization logic and better home screen visuals. So have you received your update for S7 or S7 Edge? If yes, do share your thoughts on the comment section below and for more videos like this, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until I meet you in the next video, this is Giridhar signing off. Goodbye.